What's up everyone? John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here. One of the most compelling new features in the iPhone 4 is that little guy right there, the front facing camera, which is tied into Apple's new FaceTime video chat software. So I want to give you a demonstration of how this works. I'm going to show you how it looks if you were to make a call or receive a call and switch to FaceTime and vice versa. And this is only going to function if you are on a Wi-Fi network. So I've got one of my viewers and regular callers to the live in show, Tony Marlowe here. I'm going to go ahead and give him a call and see how this looks. So I'm going to call him normally first. And you'll see when I make the call that there's now a new FaceTime little icon right there. I'll put it on speaker. So this is just a regular phone call. Hey, Tony, are, Tony, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Perfect. So you can see right now we've got the regular row of icons, but where it used to say hold, you now have a FaceTime video camera. So if I go ahead and push that, we're going to initiate a video call to Tony. So you'll be able to see me. You guys can see me there uh, sort of on camera. And the front facing camera is actually not bad. The VGA resolution looks pretty decent. So now it says connecting. And there you can see Tony. And Tony, why don't you wave your hand a little bit? Hi. And uh, say, uh, say hello to the audience. People can hear the quality. Hello, audience. This is the quality. All right. So you can see the quality. Tony looks pretty good. Tony, move the camera around a little bit so we can see how it looks. Sort of show the background. All right, perfect. So you can see that things actually look pretty nice, and you can switch front facing to back facing. In the bottom right hand corner, there's a little icon, and go ahead and switch that. And Tony just did it. I can switch that right there, and now it's looking at my office and the desk. And you can also take this phone and switch it over and switch landscapes. And now you can see sort of another uh, icon, another view. And I can actually pick this right here, and I can move it anywhere I want. So I can pick the views, and say I want to go back to front facing. So Tony's got a much better view than I do. And then there I am uh, right back. So Tony, I'm going to uh, hang up from you right now. And you can, guys can hear, by the way, that this is now over voice over IP or VoIP. And the quality is very good. And when you switch to FaceTime, it's a seamless transition. It actually does not use your AT&T minutes. Uh, so Tony, I'm going to ask you to now to give me a call and um, see how uh, this works. So I'm going to hang up from you and go ahead and give me a, uh, a ring back over a standard phone call. And we'll switch over to FaceTime. So Tony's going to give me a call back. Here is the uh, home screen again on the iPhone 4. And we'll see how this looks when you receive a call and you switch to FaceTime. Then I'll have Tony call me directly from FaceTime. So here's a regular call. So there's Tony. I'm going to put him on speaker. Tony, are you there? Hi. All right. Now go ahead and add FaceTime. We can see how long this takes. Okay. So tell me when you push it. Okay. All right. So you can sort of see the time. So would like to FaceTime, I can hit accept or decline. Go ahead and accept it. And it takes probably another three or four seconds. And there we go. So about four to five seconds overall, which is pretty fast. And now we are seamless transition uh, over a Wi-Fi to FaceTime. So Tony, now I'm going to call you back right over FaceTime directly and not go through the AT&T route and see how that works. So go ahead and close out of there. And now if I want to call somebody that's got FaceTime, I can go ahead and either initiate a FaceTime or then make sure his number is not going to show up here when I do it. So I can go right to, uh, right to Tony. I'm going to cover up his phone number here. But when you go ahead and select a contact, you're not going to have a new icon. My phone keeps ringing here. You're not going to have a new icon that says uh, FaceTime. So let me show you again what that looks like. So there it is right there. It says FaceTime. So I'm going to go ahead and call Tony directly from FaceTime. So now we're sort of getting the AT&T part of this, and we're just using uh, the voice over IP Wi-Fi client. And now here we are with Tony. Now, Tony, I'm going to ask you to call me directly over FaceTime, if you don't mind. OK, sounds good. Do that right now. All right. And then we can sort of see what that looks like as well. So there is a FaceTime. Would like to FaceTime, accept or decline. Looks pretty standard. and. Now we will be connected in just a few seconds over FaceTime, in theory. There we are. Tony, thank you very much for helping with the demonstration. I appreciate it. Okay, anytime. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. All right, so that was a demonstration of FaceTime, the new video chat application for the iPhone 4. It looks to be very useful. I'm actually very, very surprised about how crisp and clear the video quality actually is. It's not sort of that pixelated thing that I expected. Certainly, it's probably going to depend on the strength of your Wi-Fi network. Uh, but where I am right here, evidently where Tony was, uh, things work very nicely. So whenever your iPhone 4s come, be sure to get your video chat on. 
Uh, any other features that you guys want to see demonstrated on the iPhone 4, be sure to let me know. And stay tuned to the channel, uh, youtube.com slash john4lakers and technobuffalo.com for all of your tech news and for exclusive content. Be sure to check me out at Twitter, twitter.com slash john4lakers. I am John Rettinger, and I will see you in the next video.